Hi folks, welcome to my video on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So the important thing we have to remember for uh, solving these things, these are eigenvalues, there is an equation is equal to a minus lambda i is equal to 0. For eigenvectors, determinant of a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0. So let's take an example. Matrix A, it is 1 minus 2 minus 5, 4. So for the eigenvalues equation, same a minus lambda i equal to 0. So for finding this, we have to minus the values for the diagonal. Diagonal, we have to minus the lambda value. Like what is the diagonal here? 1 and 4. So 1 minus lambda, this will be the same minus 2. And minus 5 will be put here. And again, diagonal 4 will be coming. So 4 minus lambda, we will put. So then we simplifying it. So 1 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus minus 1 into minus 10 is equal to minus 10 because the minus is coming in the determinant that time so equal to 0. So when we solve this lambda into lambda lambda square minus 4 5 lambda minus 6 equal to 0 when we uh, solve this particular thing it will come like this. So lambda square minus 5 lambda minus 6 we can write it as lambda minus 6 into lambda plus 1. So it will come like lambda square minus phi lambda minus 6 equal to 0. So from this equation we can take lambda is equal to minus 6 will come as a plus 6 and lambda is equal to plus 1 will come as a minus 1. So we will go we got the values of lambda that is 6 and minus 1. So for finding the vector eigen vector we have to apply this value to the lambda. So first we will take the value 6. So you know the equation for the eigen vectors. So a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0. Lambda is 6, so we have put 6 here. 6 into i is equal to 0. So we will put again, diagonally we will apply the value. Lambda minus 6 is the value. 6 is the value. So 1 minus lambda minus 2 will be the same. Minus 5 will be the same. So again diagonal 4 minus 6 into x1 into x2 is equal to 0. So it will 1 minus 6 will be minus 5, minus 2, minus 5, 4 minus 6 will be minus 2 into x1 into x2 is equal to 0. So we, when we solve this, we will get it's minus 5x1 minus 2x2 is equal to 0. So x1 will be, x1, therefore, x1 by 2 is equal to x2 by minus 5. When we do the sol, uh, sol, solving the equation, we will get like this. So giving the eigenvector k1 is equal to 2 and minus 5. So this is a, a method of finding the eigenvector. Say, similarly, we will do for the lambda is equal to minus 1 because we got two values for lambda 6 and minus 1. So we have to again do like two minus uh, the minus operations and all we will get like 2x and minus 2x2 is equal to 0. So x1 is equal to x2 giving the eigenvector k2 is equal to 1 by 1. So this is a uh, method of finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So we will uh, revisit once more. It will be like the equations we have to remember eigenvector values a minus lambda is equal to 0 and eigenvectors a minus lambda into x is equal to 0. First, we have to find the eigenvalues, cross multiply, and find the values of lambda to lambdas, then apply this value into the equation, first equation that is a minus lambda into x is equal to 0. So, when we, that, when we apply both of the equations, we will get the answer. I hope the, this video helped you understand what is eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And if you like my video,